Okay, so the first video was a festival of disadvantageous situations. How am I going to get screwed over this time? Oh! So what's going to happen if he winds up losing a star? Because it's a roulette block. Alright, so he just takes 20 coins. And does his pee dance to mock you. Okay, well that does at least protect the coin star. Unless I get like a ma unless I get a speed block, which would be really really nice. I kind of think the game owes me that much. Yeah, a speed block would be very nice right about now, so that I can actually get to the star. Or just a natural ten. Well, that's as good as a speed block. And I'm tied with Peach in the race, but moving last actually really sucks. Well, I should be able to get the points on this one. Just as long as I don't lose concentration. I always have to be very, very careful on this, and I don't talk very much during it. Okay. It's red. No one's faked out. Peach is gone. Wario's gone. And that, yeah, that was getting pretty tense there. DK actually seems to try to row himself against the current, which really doesn't work because it's an incredibly strong current out there. Man, that must be horrifying just getting swept to your death out of nowhere. Uh, most things involving death probably are fairly horrifying. Speaking of somebody who does actually have a very big fear of dying. Well, let's see. Will DK snatch it? DK has snatched the star. Well, he finally got that one, and that basically meant I've continued to put in all this work for nothing. It is going to be the story of the board. I've got to have something go my way. Where is it now? Okay, so I need to take a shortcut, but it, again, it depends on what I roll. If you land on the happening space while the uh, Bowser event is active, nothing happens. Okay, what have I got? Oh, they've gone back to normal. Rightio. There's my natural ten. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Problem is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... How do I do this? Because taking that shortcut is a big disadvantage. I mean, I get a blue space either way. I think I want that. Alright, it's me under the rest. Oh, it's paddle battle, but this could be a big profit for me. It'll give me a good edge in the minigame star if I can rotate hard. Rest in peace, my palm. Alright, there we go! It's really, really, really hard for the one person to actually do this. And they are going to be fighting hard. Well, I'm already... 12, 15 coins up. How do we actually go down? That, that's defying physics. How do they defy physics like that? If I can get one more... Nope. Finish. Couldn't get one more, but I think I made 21 coins out of that. Wario is just sort of twitching. Whew. 
Okay, that's that's good. That's good. That's a good coin star lead. I need to build on that. That actually gave me a bit of an advantage. Admittedly, a Bowser game would be good, because this screws DK. Problem is, we have to watch this play out. A Bowser game, well, Bowser's balloon burst would be very helpful. Rightio, what's Peach going to get? Peach will still have enough. Oh, she got a speed block. Okay, she's gone the other way. Depending on what I roll, this is a big advantage for me. Eight. Let's take the gamble. At worst, I'm in a race with Peach. I think I've got the star. Good bit of luck. Excellent. Finally, when I actually get some good dice rolls, I can do something. Problem is I'm coming up to Bowser, which is a bad thing. Bowser, we know Bowser will attack us with a volcanic eruption. However, if we're able to reduce Bowser's HP, it will wind up losing base power through a calculation of max HP. There is a serious calculation about how eruption works. Like, let's take current HP divided by, by max HP times 100. So, for example, if you have a Pokemon with one... Let's say you actually, for the sake of convenience, you have a Pokemon with 150 base HP. Well, or current HP, not base HP, because a Pokemon with 150 base HP would, at level 100, have an absolute minimum of 410 HP, assuming no effort values and no individual values. Giratina actually has uh, base 150 HP. So let's assume that the Pokemon has 150 maximum HP. That's what I want. And we're treated to the horrifying side of Wario in the Bowser suit. So, let's assume then that the Pokemon actually has 100 out of 150 HP. Basically, this means that Eruption will have two-thirds of its power. So it will have basically 100 base power. Finish. Because its regular base power is 150. If it's easier to calculate it like that, basically that base pa Wario is flat broke. So yeah, w by calculating it with a Pokemon with 150 maximum HP, dividing its ma dividing its current HP by 150, then multiplying it by 100, will give you the power of eruption. It will also hit both opponents. He's decided to waste his coins on a shortcut. Is he going to wind up failing? No. But yeah, that's basically how you can uh, wind up calculating the power of eruption. It's a simplified way of doing it, in all fairness. I probably made it a little bit of a hash of it. But yeah, we got there in the end. DK gets... Bowser. You can see how crap this mechanic is. It really is awful. Peach can take the shortcut. Alright, Yoshi, what are we going to get? Two. Right. Um, let Roulette decide. I got lucky, but next time I won't. That's probably the case. Alrighty. Crazy Cutter. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? We'll see what we get. So, I, I sincerely do hope that everything I talk about actually winds up being somewhat educational somewhere along the way. And actually gives you a little bit of advice on a few things. I'm absolutely no expert at Pokemon. Like, I can do the casual stuff just fine, but I would not have the skill or, for that matter, the patience 
to actually do... Oh, jeez, I'm really going off the lines there. Yoshi wound up uh, getting arrested for being drunk in charge of a jackhammer. 87. Yeah, I wobbled a little bit. You can see it there. But it was good enough for us to all get the coins. How do you fossilize a ghost? That's a serious question. How do you fossilize a ghost? Interestingly enough, there has never been a rock ghost type Pokemon. I believe normal... Who's got the warp block? Peach. So that was kind of pointless. So yeah, there's never been a rock ghost type Pokemon. There, ha there are four unused normal type combinations. Oh no! So there's, there's no normal bug Pokemon. There's no normal steel Pokemon. There's no normal ice Pokemon. And there's no uh, normal rock. No! 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 Okay, I'll tell you, I, I can live with that. I was going to steal off Peach anyway. I can live with that. Why do they have to be so spiteful? I mean, last time I actually had chance times that went my way. Alright. Time to get my money back. I'm not wasting my time stealing a star. I mean, I have a big enough target on my back, but I want those coins back. I was going to steal off you anyway, so I've basically just given a few coins. Well, I made 15 of those back. That's a good result. We get to pick on Wario again. That would have been a supreme irony. If I finally steal enough if I steal enough coins back off Peach to take a lead over her for most coins, and then Crane Game comes up. The game that would have just been That would have been pure Mario Party there. Well, good results for Wario. The other two can lose coins. I come away with... Yeah. So, yeah, I would have had more coins than Peach. And, yeah, Crane Game sucks. Turn 13, unlucky for some. So, Wario is taking the shortcut. What's going to happen? Yeah, this board really sasses you. Has he got Bowser? No, just one short. DK is still meandering. Oh, he's got a mini game. What's it going to be? Limbo Dance. Let's just skip through this too. DK has demonstrated his skill as a champion limbo dancer as he blunders his way towards Boo or Bowser. Where's Peach? Got a six. I wonder if there is going to be a situation where somebody needs the shortcut and they wind up missing it. It's been pretty lenient. All right, big roll, no whammy. Okay. Oh, isn't that bloody typical? Everybody else wound up getting a regular mushroom and the moment I land on one, I get the bloody poison mushroom. I think I have easily had the most poison mushrooms out of anyone. Bloody typical. I'm really ticked off about that. 
Just like the AI gets a regular mushroom, the AI gets a regular mushroom, and so on and so on ad infinitum. It's like, oh, the human player got a, got a mushroom space. Oops, they've had a heart attack from eating a death cap. I think I won. That's some solace. Ugh. And of course it's when I'm going for the star too. That's a real kick in the nuts. You know, if somebody could land on a Bowser space so I could screw everyone out of coins, I'd be incredibly grateful. DK, where's DK going? Maybe I can laugh at DK's misery. Problem is I'm the... Nope, I'm the big target, but at least he can't steal a star from me. Alright, this is the last... Oh, we just missed the Bowser space. And yep, yeah, I'm still dead. Keep away. Well, uh, look, I... Uh, okay, it's not their fault. I'm ticked off at the game, so I will still... Oh, Wario's got the key. Right, guard that key with your life, Wario. Guard it with your life. I'm running interference. Run the tackle. I'm running the tackle. There we go. Good to Actually, good teamwork. I need to work with them for that one. Because it protects my coin star. And I'm just eyes in the corner. 